Good day to everyone. So today we're going to do series circuit connections. Here are the materials that we are going to use. First are two pieces of 1.5 volts rated batteries or a DC voltage converter. Okay, four pieces of mini receptacles, four pieces of bulbs rated at 2.5 volts, and of course connectors with alligator clips. So it's a diagram for a single loop two resistors or two lamp connections in series circuit. Let's try to do the actual connection of the series circuit diagram. Okay, It's only single loop. I'm currently using a DC voltage converter Okay, since it's more convenient to use compared to a common battery. Okay? So I have the terminals here, red for positive and of course black for negative. So following the circuit diagram, Passive terminal of the battery, in this case the converter, goes to one side of the first lamp. Okay, so let's designate this 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so in this case we're going to use two lamps first. Okay, so the other side of the lamp, if you're going to have a positive entry here, therefore one side should be negative black. So it's easier to measure the voltage and current of DC circuits if you're using this red and black color coding, okay? Next, the positive side again of this terminal, okay, there. And another one, negative terminal of the battery, okay, which is black. So let's try to connect them, power on. So as you can see, it's just single loop, okay? Positive side of the battery, going to the first lamp and then second lamp and then negative side of the battery going back okay so in a series circuit with a single loop the problem is if one one factor one component in this case lamps is damaged or disconnected the other one will also cease to function so let's try to prove that so if this one is disconnected therefore current flow doesn't go to the second bulb okay so there's no complete circuit Okay. Likewise, removing the second bulb okay, will also cause the other one not to function. Okay, so there's a single loop, which also proves that current in a, in a series circuit is constant. Okay, now voltage, total voltage in a series circuit is equal to the voltages of each of the components. But it's E1 plus E2 and E3 and so on is equal to the E total or the voltage total of the circuit. I'm currently using a 4 volt source. Okay, so meaning each bulb here has a potential difference of 2 volts. Okay, 2 volts, 2 volts equal to 4 volts. Okay, now as you can see, the lumen is quite bright. Okay, so since 2 volts here and 2 volts here, let's try to add another bulb to see what happens to the brightness of these lamps. Okay, so there, negative again, positive, then going to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, so as you can see, they're quite dimmer okay, than before, since now, 4 volts being shared by the 3 lamps here before two lamps were sharing four volts therefore each one of them gets two volts each but in this case it's lesser since there are three now sharing the four volt source okay now let's try to use a voltmeter to measure the voltage or potential difference each bulb gets so let's try to measure the potential difference of each of these lamps using the voltmeter. So as you can see, the voltmeter has also two terminals, black and red, okay, so positive and negative. So it's easier to determine which side, which side of the bulb you're going to place your terminals, okay, or your alligator clips or sometimes rods, okay, which side, okay. So if they were inverted, Okay, let's say they were inverted. If your negative terminal goes to the positive terminal here and your positive goes to negative, let's see what happens to the needle. Okay, so here's the needle of the voltmeter. Hope you can see it. Okay, so what if the positive terminal goes to the negative terminal and the negative goes to the positive? Okay, so let's see. See, so you can see, okay, the needle is going clockwise not counterclockwise okay so it could damage the voltmeter so that's why it's better when you want to measure okay the voltage drop or the current of a circuit you should use 
the proper color coding. Okay, so let's try. So the first bulb has a rating or potential difference of okay so from zero to three okay so in between that is 1.5 volts okay so anyway i've adjusted the power supply into 4.5 volts okay i'll show you later okay so this bulb has a value of 1.5 volts so as you can see it's between it's between 0 and 3. So that is 1.5. Okay. So each line here divides it. Okay. So there are 10. So it is 3 divided by 10. So it's actually 0.3. So it's in 5. So it's 1.5 volts. Okay. Now for the second bulb. Okay. Still moving. Actually, it's better to use a digital multi, sorry, multi tester, a voltmeter. Okay. There, it's still in the middle. So it's still, I think, 1.5 volts. Okay. And finally, on our third terminal. Okay. Red to red and black to black. There. Okay. So again, its rating is still 1.5 volts. So that's it. So total voltage of the circuit is equal to 4.5 volts. Okay. So meaning each one gets a voltage of 1.5. So a total of 4.5. So that is 1.5 multiplied by 3. So we also prove that voltage, total voltage in a series circuit is equal to the individual voltages of each of the components. In this case, lamps. Okay. So, so that's it. Hopefully, this video helped you. Uh, to analyze and understand the rules of series circuit as likewise as using in using the voltmeter so i think that's it thank you very much for watching and have a, and a good day to everyone